Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm showing you, I created this look right here. This is my everyday kind of go-to glam. If I was going to work and I didn't really feel like doing like a full beat or if I was going shopping, I wanted makeup on but didn't want to do the whole, you know, the whole step-by-step -step stuff. <laughs> this is basically what I would do. Yeah, this is my go-to glam. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learn something from it. I hope you can pick up little tips and tricks that I do or whatever. <laughs> if you're in small kind of crazy like Instagram creative looks, then I have a lot more over on my Instagram, which I will leave everything linked down below. I'll put the name on the screen and all that jazz. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, the like button. It only takes a few seconds. And honestly, it means so much to me. Like I cannot explain. So <laughs> yeah, just hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button if you enjoy it. Let's get into it. So starting off, I'm gonna just go in with a bit of moisturizer just all over my face. And this is just gonna kind of act like a primer. So now all that's all nicely rubbed in. I'm then gonna go in my foundation. So to start off, I'm gonna go in. I love using this foundation for every day because oh, <laughs> dropped in my bed. <laughs> so this is the Born This Way foundation. This is in the shade Warm Beige. Just got the foundation on the bottom, but so this is in the shade Warm Beige, and I really love this foundation for every day. Like I know it's a little bit more expensive, but honestly, you get what you pay for. So this foundation makes your skin look like skin but with coverage so um, I might put a little bit more on them what they say to put on but that's just because that's just me <laughs> I'm gonna apply it with like a flat top foundation brush this is my spectrum b01 and yeah I'm just gonna apply this with my face and blend it all in <laughs> And when I'm blending it in as well, I'm almost like pushing it in, like bouncing it, like you would with a beauty blender. This foundation as well, like I think it's really, really nice. Like, I feel like my skin still feels like skin, even though it, it's got coverage on it. It's a really lightweight foundation. And I feel like for the girls out there that want coverage, but don't want to feel like, like they're wearing like layers and layers, um, then I definitely recommend this one, 100%. Now that's all on, I'm gonna go in with a bit of concealer. And for concealer, I'm gonna use this one I've been loving at the moment, All Night Long by Berry M Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Cookie. And I'm just gonna put this underneath my eyes. Just three little lines. Just that for now, and then I'm just gonna blend it in with the same brush. But yeah, I understand this kind of makeup isn't gonna be for everybody. But this is just my kind of go-to type of makeup when, like I said, like when I, re when I go in somewhere that requires me to wear makeup, like <laughs> honestly, I don't know if other like makeup lovers or whatever can relate, but <laughs> if I can go without wearing makeup, then I will. Don't get me wrong, like I love makeup, like I love it so much, but um, sometimes you just gotta let your skin breathe, you know? And now I'm just gonna apply a little bit in my forehead, on my nose, and just underneath this, these bits here. Now I'm just gonna use a bit of powder to kind of set everything in place. So for that, I'm just going to take some pressed powder. This is my Rimmel London one. I, just a little powder brush, a little tapered type. I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes. I 
I also find this makeup as well that I do it lasts like all day. Like I might need to take a bit of powder or whatever to like kind of top up, but honestly, like it does last me all day. Like I can do like a whole day at work with this kind of makeup on. What I like about this foundation as well is it kind of like shows through that you see that like luminous on my cheeks and stuff like that. Like you can set it, but it won't kind of it won't lose that that glow it has to it and I just think it's such a nice foundation that like, I honestly love it. So yeah then now to kind of bronze and contour I'm going to use my Rimmel Natural Bronzer in the shade 022. Um, it just looks like this. I'm using a really light hand as well because I don't want it to be super super like dark and chalky, I want it to still look quite natural and bronzy and glowy. I always really use my, um, what's it called, my MAC Gimme Sun bronzer for like everyday wear, but I found I was going through them like no tomorrow. So I just decided to try and find like a cheaper like drugstore kind of bronze I could just kind of use like everyday kind of stuff or you know I didn't really want to use like my MAC um and yeah I found this little beauty in Superdrug and I think it was only cheap I think it's the same price as these like £3.99 £4 something like that but yeah I thought you can go wrong with them to be honest and it's just like a really subtle kind of bronze contour type thing going on and honestly for everyday wear that's what you really want i love blush illuminating powders like i don't think you can honestly go wrong with it these powders like it's a blush and it just has these like gold flakes in it and it just really adds to the skin and it's like not too intense either it's just so pretty let's add a little bit on my nose as well to kind of like oh, tie everything together <laughs> when I'm doing like natural kind of makeup I always like to go for more pinky tones I feel like with I've got blue eyes as well, I just feel like pink tones and like warmer kind of oranges and stuff really make my eyes like pop. So when I'm doing these kind of makeup looks, I always tend to go for like, you know, pretty pink type of, type of glam, you know. <laughs> so for my eyes, I'm really going to go in with this palette. This is my, this is from the um, Jaclyn Hill Vault collection and this is Ring the Alarm. And I'm just gonna go in with this shade here called Lolly. Just this top shimmer here. So I'm just using my finger and just pressing this shimmer onto my lips. And what I love about this shimmer as well, it's got like gold flakes in it as well, so it kind of ties in with the blush I've just applied, like the illuminating powder. So yeah, and then with my finger again, I'm just going to go underneath my eye. So I'm just going to go underneath and it's just really easy and simple but effective. Yeah, that's what I really do for my eyes. And then when it comes to mascara and stuff like that, I just... This is my Maybelline Great Lash in black and black and it's got like the green lid. I've been out for years, this stuff. I'm just going to apply this to my lashes. Sometimes I apply lashes, but honestly, when I'm in a rush, or sometimes I don't feel like going to the hassle of applying lashes like every day. So I just feel like mascara, I just feel like mascara does a job for me, to be honest. If I'm feeling like I want to be a little bit extra that day or whatever, but <laughs> then I will stick lashes on. What lashes I really love for every day, they're very dull beauty and I think the style is Farrah. 
I think it's either flower or something else. Like I think they're so pretty. Like I had them and I was wearing them for ages and I lost them. <laughs> so I've not been able to repurchase them. But honestly, they're like my favourite go-to, like everyday kind of lash. If I could have like loads in the drawer, then I'd just wear them every day. But <laughs> yeah, most of the time it's either this or like them kind of stuff. If you don't know what they are, they're, they're really like like winged out, um, wispy. I don't know how to explain them. They're just really stunning. Natural, but volumising. Stunning. <laughs> they're just really, really pretty. <laughs> So for my brows, I'm just going to take my brow gel, which is the Brow This Way by Rimmel London, just in a little white tube, and I'm just going to brush this through my eyebrows. I've got really fine hair, so it kind of gives my brows a bit of texture and something for the, the brow, the products to kind of stick to. Now to start filling my brows in, I'm going to take my my Kitco 1.0, well, 1.10 brush, it's a really fine angled brush. So when I'm doing this kind of makeup, well, this is, I use these two palettes, these are like my go-to, just from the Jaclyn Hill Vault collection. And I really like this one for my brows, like I don't use a lot of it. So when I'm doing my eyebrows, I always like to start off at this arch here. Start to drag it down and then I always like to like underline my eyebrow then which whatever products I've got left in the brush just like to brush that into the hairs when it comes to the end just have like a play about with it until you're happy with it Literally, once I've done that, I'm just gonna go in with that got to be glued. Start to kind of spike them up. And when it comes to my lips, all I really like to do is put like give it a little bit of lip balm on, or just like a little like nude gloss. And this is my Hydra lip gloss in the shade 19 by Kiko. And this is my go-to glam. Like it literally takes about 10 minutes. Like it's dead easy, dead simple. Hope you learnt something from it. And yeah, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share it around with your friends. All that kind of jazz. Leave a comment down below. You know, all that fun stuff. <laughs> Just a finished look. And I hope you know.